Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. How are you guys doing this evening? I have had a mess trying to set up this ring light and I can't tell if it's like too bright, not bright enough. <laughs> so here, let me try to fix it there. That's good. All right, it's been raining outside, so it's very, very dark in here. Um, so if I turn on the light over there, see the light, then it's like yellow and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I've been trying to mess with this ring light to get it just perfect. And then it wasn't like plugged in all the way. And I was like, is this ring light broken too? Anyway, I wanted to get on here today and I wanted to do an unboxing. I have some things that I got from um, my post office box. I also have kind of a haul. So I'm gonna kind of mix them both together because my husband is in Miami, Florida for the weekend for his girlfriend's birthday. And um, I have several projects <laughs> that I am trying to get done while he's gone. And one of the projects is that I'm trying to clean off our kitchen counters. And on our kitchen counters were all these boxes. So I was like, you know what? I was going to do a TikTok food hack today, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow. And I was like, I'm going to show all this stuff today. So let me show you. I need to get a thumbnail, first of all, which will give away one of my product or <laughs> products. One of my, ooh, it's heavy. Um, so this is kind of like an Amazon haul, but um, some other things as well. So there's my thumbnail. Okay. So you can see this one thing coming out over here. This is the first thing that I got. Put this around over here. This is not super exciting stuff. This is stuff that like anybody would order off of Amazon. So, um, but it's some things that I had seen other people have and <clears throat> so I'm excited about that. But the first thing, I think I'll show the Amazon stuff second and I'll show the post office bucks stuff first. But the uh, first thing I ordered was a frenemies hoodie. Um, so if you watch my drama channel, you know that I've covered a lot of the drama to do with frenemies. And I was an avid frenemies watcher. So when the merch came out, even though the show is over, I thought, and it looks really, really nice. I don't know if you can see this, but um, it's like the lettering is really nice. I thought, why not buy a front of me's hoodie as a little bit of memorabilia. So here I'm gonna show you what the hoodie looks like. Ooh, it, the tag is, uh, the Teddy Fresh tag is really nice. It's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like, it's really, have you ever been to the Teddy Fresh website? It's like, so that's Ethan Klein's uh, wife, Ela's like fashion line. It's like streetwear and stuff like that. It's very, very cool. Unfortunately, everything that I wanted was, they were out of, but anyway, so this is the hoodie. I think I got it in a 2XL because I wanted it super big. Um, yeah, it's 2XL. It's really nice. Very comfy. My good Judy Tanya is going to be so jealous of this. She's going to be like, why didn't you get me one? I would be like, because they were expensive. But I wanted a little piece of front of me's memorabilia. So there you go. Got that. That was the first thing. Put that upstairs. One of my other projects this weekend is to clean up some of my clothes. All right, let's get into the post office box stuff. Put this over here. Um, the first thing is, hold on a second. So this is, oh, I should have brought my reading glasses. This is from um, Marquis, and Marquis sent me these, um, these masks, and I love these masks so much. They are, she had them made, they are Be Too Much masks. Aren't these so cool? So that's another, that's like one of my sayings that I say on my other channels because I think I've said it over here too. Oh, these are so nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're perfect. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. Um, Cause I do believe in that, you know? A lot of my life people were like, you're too loud, be quiet, you know, hold it down. And uh, you're laughing too loud. And you know, why do you have that shirt on? And why are you listening to this music? And I was like, you know what? Uh, you need to be too much in life. Life is short, right? So anyway, thank you so much, Marquis. I appreciate that. Oh, those are so cool. I love those. She gave me two of those. Okay, the next thing, well, somebody sent me this to do a review on, and it's called, they've actually sent me these before. I have them in the closet, and I never reviewed them. They're from Raw Indulgence, and it's called Raw Rev, No Bad Stuff, No Kidding. And they're like granola bars. Here, I'll show you. If I can open this box, which maybe I can't, because they have it all taped up. No, I don't want to open it. It's just granola bars. I, I'll review them sometime on my review channel. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show 
What's the note that came with this? Okay, I stopped it because I have this whole organization in the kitchen and I had it like, okay, this box with this, this box with this, this box with this. And I realized I was like, okay, like I had all the cards in one area. And so anyway, um, okay, so let's get into this. Um, so I showed the mask from Marquis. That was very nice. So thank you, Marquis, for that. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so the hats that I got, I got all of these Peterbilt hats, which I have to tell you, this is so funny. So back in the day when, so if you don't know, Peterbilt is like semis, like semi trucks. Back in the day, aren't these so nice? My dad used to wear these. And um, people tell me that I look a lot like my dad when he was my age. Because he had a beard, you know, and all that kind of stuff and white hair. And he would wear trucker hats. Oh, I love this one. So anyway, um, I got, I found the note and this is from Lennon Scott. And Lynn said, my husband and I enjoy watching your videos together. And so she sent me all of these hats um, from she and her husband, which was really, really nice. So thank you, Lynn and Scott. I really appreciate it. I love these hats. You will see some of these in my videos coming very, very soon. So that was really cool. Okay, put that over here. The next thing is, now, this is what I was kind of like looking for while I stopped the video. I cannot find the direct message or the email anywhere that somebody sent this, that, but they sent me a message saying that they ordered this for me from Gorin. So if you look at my hats or if you, if you've seen my hats in my videos, they're all from Gorin Brothers. I love the Gorin Brothers hats. Okay. And, um, so somebody sent me this hat from the Gorin Brothers and it came straight from the Gorin Brothers and it doesn't say their name or anything on the, the packing slip on it. But the hat, which I love, I was showing it to Alex the other day, says Queen Bee on it. Is that not so cool? I have tons of these hats and I love them. And they fit my head perfectly. They're like the perfect trucker hat for my head. So, I don't know. Reach out to me again. DM me or email me and let me know that you sent me this hat because I want to say thank you appropriately. Um, but that was so cool. So, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, the next thing. Now... The way I have this organized, I have to believe this is actually from, um, hold on a second, Chris, who sent me the card. I believe this is from Chris, okay? And Chris sent me um, this Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker Lip Balm, which you guys know I love the lip balm. Oh, you know I love the lip balm, but I also love the Dr. Pepper because it reminds me of when I was a kid. Um, okay, and then Chris also sent me this. And it says, you do you, be too much. And it is just like, can you see? It's like my face. It's like shining in the ring light. But can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. It's like my face right there. And then at the top, it says, you do you. And the bottom of it, it says, be too much. Is that not so cool? I love this. So thank you so much. I really appreciate this, Chris. It means a lot to me. And um, she packed the hell out of this thing. Um, but I had the card sitting in here. And, oh, she sent me a Coca-Cola one, too. Coca-Cola Lip Smacker. Aw, thank you. So I had the card sitting in here. <laughs> Unless it's, it, it's from Chris. It has to be. So thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it. So those were the packages that I got um, at the post office. Very, very cool. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Isn't this so fun? Look at that. <laughs> This kind of reminds me of Spencer's gifts a little bit. Okay, so uh, now let me put that over there so it's safe. The next thing I wanted to show you was, now I wear, oh shoot, I didn't bring my new reading glasses. <laughs> they're right there! Oh my God, they're right there. Hold on a second. This video is crap at this point because the other part of this order is in my car, but it's whatever. So if you watch my videos regularly, you know that I am at the age now where I have to wear reading glasses and I now know why my dad has them in every single room. So my favorite brand of reading glasses is called Caddis, C-A-D-D-I-S, and they're just very groovy, cool glasses. They have all different kinds. And so um, my two favorite styles are the Miklos and the Porgy and Bess. And so these are the Porgy and Bess, and um, I got them in this like clear coat color. I can't remember what they call it on there. Uh, and you can see on here that it says goofy on one side and regular on the other. And so these are my new reading glasses. I wear reading in the polarized, or polarized. Um, I also got a pair of, uh, and they look just like this, but they're black. They look like uh, almost kind of like Ray-Bans. Um, 
I swear by these, you guys, and they're expensive because when people ask me, they're like, well, how expensive are they? And I'm like, they're super expensive, but they're very, like, sturdy. They're very, very sturdy. They're about $100 a pair. And um, I really, really believe in these. And as much as I wear reading glasses, which is literally, like, all day long, um, I would rather have really nice reading glasses. Because the other reading glasses that I had that I started with from, like, you know, Amazon and stuff like that, they were perfectly fine, but they broke a lot. Um, and they would bend and things like that. And so I needed um, another pair around the house. The other thing was I had bought progressives and where it's like, um, if you look in the distance, you can see, cause I'm nearsighted. Um, but if you, uh, like things up close, it, it's hard to see. Um, so they can go back and forth. I, I have a really hard time with the progressives. I have tried and I have practiced and I just really can't like get it down. Um, but I did buy the reading glass or the, the sun, uh, sun glass reading glasses because I wanted to like by the pool or by the beach, be able to look at my phone or read a book or something like that. And I haven't been able to do that recently. So finally I was like, I'm going to buy a pair of these sunglasses. Um, and I got them from Caddis. When you get the glasses, they come in a case like this. I actually showed this, I think in my review video the other day. So they come like this and this is a cool box and on the back of it. It has this little saying and it says, this is for people who are not in the long process of giving up. It has everything to do with age, but nothing to do with your job, your gender, or whether you live in Orange County or Hazard County. It has to do with being who you are and owning it. And when the glasses come, they come like this in the box. I don't know if you can see that. And then when you take the glasses out, and you rip this little thing apart over here like this. In this little container right here comes a little pouch that you can keep your glasses in. That's so nice. And then you can use these little boxes for jewelry and things like that, which is what I do. And that's so cool. Is this a bookmark? Block blue light better, it says. Frequency lenses. So anyway, love that. Save the box. Put these over here in this container. The other thing that I bought, though, um, well, Alex had some of this stuff from Warby Parker, and I ran out of it, and it is the Superwash Organic um, Eyeglass Lens Cleanser from Caddis. This is cheap. It's like 10 bucks or something like that, and it's just a spray, and it comes in a little bottle that you can spray your glasses off so that they're, like, crystal clear, and this one comes with a little um, towel, so you can keep that, like, in your little, you know, your purse or your little fanny pack or whatever you have, and then... I also purchased two of these, which I had never bought before from Caddis because I wanted a pair. They say Caddis on them. I don't know if you can see that. Um, to keep my glasses. Oh, look at that. There's little lemons inside. Isn't that cute? Um, but I wanted these to, so I could put like in my fanny pack and um, like for my sunglasses or if we're going to the beach I can or the pool, I can just put it in my pool bag for the day. Oh, okay. Look at that. So nice. On the back it says, Apple leather made from pulverized apple peels. Oh, I love that. That's what it says on the back. So, there you go. Okay. That was what I got from Caddis. Okay. And I bought two of those. One for glasses and one for sunglasses. The next thing is my Amazon haul. Now, I bought all kinds of stuff when I was on there the other night. There is this booktuber who I would say we are friendly. I consider him a friend. He's a really nice guy. His name is Robbie from Robbie Reads. Go check out his Instagram. I'm always joke. I'm like, you are literally like the Martha Stewart of BookTube or of Bookstagram. His Instagram is so beautiful and, um, he recently moved into a new place and he's just decorated it so cool and his old place was decorated cool and he's always showing products. I was just talking about this in my vlog the other night. Like, do you ever feel like when you see people's Instagram stories that like you see their stuff and you want to buy it? Like, if you've ever bought something because I've talked about it, put it in the comment section below. I would get a kick out of that. I would, that would, anyway. So he's always talking about products. So the other day he was on there and he was talking about like shampoo and conditioner he had gone back to and I am loving always trying shampoo and new shampoo and conditioner. Let me tell you why. Okay. When I was, uh, like 23, 22, 20, uh, 23, my hair started turning like grayish white and I started coloring it around that time. You can see now it is like white, 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 white. Right. So for, from 23 until 39, when I got married, cause I started growing my hair, uh, and my beard out. And then I let my hair go probably three to six months after that. So around 39, 40, um, no, it would be 39, um, 39 and a half. So what is that, for 16 years or something like that? 
I colored my hair. And so any shampoo and conditioner I used, I used color treated shampoo and conditioner, which was a pain in the butt because if you, if you have colored hair, you'll know what I'm talking about, right? That when you go to the pool or you go to the beach or whatever, you have to be like, you know, think about like your, the sun and the chlorine and the salt water damaging your, the color of your hair, right? So I was just so happy when I finally let it go that I could use any shampoo and conditioner that I wanted. All the good smelling shampoos and conditioners, which I love. I love to try all different kinds of shampoos and conditioners. So he actually on his um, Instagram the other day, and I know I should have probably bought it from Sephora or something, but I just bought it on Amazon because I was so excited about it. And this is actually pretty pricey. He said he was back to his old shampoo and conditioner, which was the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Shampoo. If you can see this. The, look at me, I'm such the influencer. And then I also got the conditioner. So I, I've never tried this. I want to smell it and see how... Oh, it smells good. It smells very clean. Just like, I thought it would smell kind of fruity or something, but it just smells really, really clean. And it says on here... Well, I guess I could put on my reading glasses, couldn't I, and tell you what it says. <laughs> So, I mean, I've heard of the brand Bumble and Bumble before, but I've never used it myself. Uh, free of sulfate cleansers, six feather light oils to help soft, soften, silk in, tame, defrizz, detangle, and protect. So anyway, that's that. And then the conditioner, uh, same thing it says on here. So I'm very excited about that. He also showed this, um, and when we were in the store in Miami, um, I asked the woman how to pronounce the name. I honest to God, I cannot remember. I, I've always pronounced it L'Occitane, um, but I think that's wrong. I think she told me some something else. But anyway, this is the Terre de la Mer um, shower gel. And this actually wasn't too expensive. I mean, for a shower gel, it was expensive. It was like 20 bucks, but it wasn't too expensive. Um, but I used to use the L'Occitane um, shaving products until I started using the Art of Shaving. So I wanted to see um, about this one because this is one that Robbie had on. Oh, that smells, oh, that smells so good. I didn't get the, the lotion because somebody said it smelled bad, but that smells really good. Very clean, very clean. Robbie must like clean smells. So that was the thing I got. And then, I cannot find this at Walmart or Meyer or anywhere. So I have used a Vino Lavender Lotion. We've been using the daily uh, oat, oat milk one or oatmeal one or whatever because you can get it at Costco in like a three pack. But I actually bought this on Amazon, the Aveeno, uh, the, the, the lavender one, because it's my favorite one. It's a calming and sensitive lotion. I've used it for like 20 plus years. And I swear by it, it smells great. And I lotion from head to toe every day after I get out of the shower. So I bought some of this, a big three pack. These are huge, they're 18 mill uh, milliliters, I think. 18 fluid ounce, milliliters, fluid ounces. So got that. And then of course you need new loofahs. So I was like, best loofahs, I searched. And I got these because they had rope on them, which I thought would be better for in the shower. Let's see what these loofahs look like. Oh my God, look at those loofahs. Aren't those so nice? I love these loofahs. And they'll go right around <laughs> family friendly. Anyway, I mean, I love to take a shower, you know, and I love getting ready and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I actually don't love getting ready, but that part of it, like taking a shower and washing my hair and all that stuff, I do love. So the next thing I wanted to try, here, I'm just gonna pull these out one at a time. Oh, here's the product I bought. Um, I get recommended products because I buy so many products on Amazon Prime. So I bought this Art of Shaving, which I love their shaving cream. You can now get it at Target. They have a whole men's section, so you can get it there. But this is the Art of Shaving. You can't buy all of their products, just some of their products at Target. This is the Art of Shaving um, Overnight Balm, Lavender and Roman Chamomile Essential Oils. And it, I mean, I guess anybody could use it, but it's an overnight for men. Overnight Balm nourishes the skin by intensely hydrating through the night. Formulated with lavender essential oil and a touch of rum and chamomile oil, it helps the skin look revitalized. Its customized blend of shea butter and uh, jojoba oil helps protect the surface from further drying as you sleep. Cleanse face with the Art of Shaving face wash, of course. Apply overnight balm over face and neck and every morning. Now, I use a hydrating face mask at night, not every night, but some nights, and so I wanted to try something different. This is what it looks like, very cool. I want it just like squirts, like out like that, okay. Let's try it, let's see what it smells like. Oh, I love the little container, that's cool. This was expensive. This was expensive for not coming out. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. 
smells like cedar wood or cedar something. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, I love that. Okay. <laughs> Let me wipe it on the box. So I would, I'm, I'm gonna use this and I'll let you guys know what I think, but that's really nice. And then I wanted kind of like a fallish, kind of like spicy smelling shower gel. Um, so I bought this Pre de Provence number 63 body lotion. And it says on here, our non-greasy body lotion, it only smells great. It will quench your, it or our non-greasy body lotion not only smells great, it will quench your skin thirst. Formulated with glycerin, shea oil, and aloe vera. It delivers fast absorbing uh, moisturization to your skin it, in warm, spicy number 63. So it's supposed to be like spicy. I love fall scents, so we're gonna see what I think about all this, okay. Oh, it's like a cream. Oh wow, I like that. That's really nice. Very, very woodsy, very fallsy. So that's what that looks like. Okay, and then I bought <laughs> the L'Occitane. Um, this is the, 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 the men's shower gel, uh, and it's for body and hair. Here's the thing. I bought recently, I know this is stupid, but I bought this Duke Cannon, which I really like that brand. Oh my God, the battery's gonna die. Hold on a second. <laughs> This video is not wanting to be made, but I'm showing these products, showing them. So anyway, um, I recently, from Target, bought the Duke Cannon. It's called something like Newscaster Shampoo, and they have a whole line called like Newscasters or something like that, Weatherman, I think it's Newscasters. And it's supposed to add a lot of volume to your hair, which obviously I don't need a lot of help with anyway, but I... I liked it, or I, I wanted to try it, and I liked it, so I like his products, and his products, I don't know who Duke Cannon is, but I like the Duke Cannon products. I like the, um, the matte, um, the, the matte, what is it, like, I don't know, hair, what's the word I'm looking for? Paste, paste, I like the paste as well. But it only comes in like these, oh no, 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 that's not Duke Cannon, that's something else. I'll put that in a favorites video, and I'll do a favorites video on my review channel. But anyway, um, so... I, they have a shower, and they have a uh, shampoo and conditioner that's all in one, which I was like, mm, I don't know about all that, but I tried it and I really like it. So when this I saw was a uh, shampoo and shower gel, I was like, all in one. I was like, kind of hesitant, but I was like, let's try it anyway. So this is the L'Occitane Men's one. Oh, wow, that smells fantastic. That reminds me of some hotel. What hotel does that remind me of? This reminds me of some place we've stayed. I don't know. That's fantastic. And I think I bought another Lossy Tongue one too in here. Okay. Am I pronouncing it wrong? Somebody let me know in the comment section below. This one is supposed to be, this is another one for men. And this is supposed to be like aquatic smelling. Yeah. How pretty is that? It's like blue. Do you see? Very pretty. Okay. And this is the, Cedr the Cedrat. C-E-D-R-A-T. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. Let's smell this one. Ooh, that reminds me of a hotel too. God, that smells so good. I like this one better than the first one, actually. This, this is more summery. The other one is, this smells like after being at the pool all day long, coming up, taking a shower, taking a nap, <laughs> getting ready for the night, getting ready for your man. <laughs> if, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever, family friendly. And then going out on a very nice dinner day. <laughs> anyway, that's what that smells like. Okay, we'll move on. So the last three things that I have, somebody messaged me on Twitter, they tweeted me, and they said that this smells just like the Sol de Janeiro um, Boom Boom Cream, which looks like Bum Bum, but apparently I've been told it's the Bum Bum Cream, which you guys know I love the Sol de Janeiro products and they're very expensive. So somebody said that this lotion, which I've seen a million times in like Walmart, this brand, this uh, lotion and stuff smells just like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. So we will be the judge of that right now because it's very cheap, okay? It's like literally like $3 a bottle for the lotion, the shampoo, and the conditioner of which I bought all three. Uh, now, I will tell you, somebody put in the Twitter thread something about this. It has something in it that you're not supposed to use, but it, and I know I, I, I just don't really pay tons of attention to that stuff. So anyway, that is the Ultra Moisture... Um, oh, by OGX, indulge in the ultra hydrating blend enriched with coconut oil, essence of tierra, and vanilla bean extract, restoring moisture to even the driest skin with this fast absorbing, rich and creamy tropical blend, coconut miracle oil. And we're gonna see if this smells. Oh, wow. 
It totally does. Oh God, that's so weird. It smells exactly like the, oh my God, it smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream. And I like it too, it's not like super greasy. I don't like lotion that's real greasy. Oh my God, like any of the Vaseline based lotions for me are like way too greasy and this dries really quick. Oh my God, that is so bizarre. Well, and then I also bought the shampoo and the conditioner, which I'm sure are not the highest quality shampoos and conditioners in the world, but I just wanted something for like, This does not smell like the Boom Boom Cream Shampoo. It smells like the lotion, kind of. The conditioner smells more like it, but the shampoo smells a little bit different. It smells a little bit more like, a little more chemically. Yeah, but I don't mind it. It smells very clean, so. Anyway, that's everything that I got. Now I gotta go put all this stuff away in the bathroom. There's my exciting weekend while my husband's in Miami. But let me know what you think about all these products. Do you own any of these products? Have you tried any of these products? Yes, I'm talking to you while I clean up. Hi, how are you? What are you doing this weekend? Oh, you're hanging out? Okay, what are you guys doing? Oh Lord, it's storming outside. I think that's God talking, saying stay off the Amazon Prime. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. If you've tried any of these products, if you've ever bought anything from me that I've talked about, let me know. Um, I love you. If I would ever recommend one product, I would recommend the Caddis Reading Glasses for sure. So anyway, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.